Yeah, well, there's still snow on the ground, but a lot of it has melted away, which is a good thing. Finally, you can see my workshop is a big mess again. I've been busy with website stuff and other things, and I couldn't get out here and do very much. But I figured I'd do a quick one today. I did my blade sharpening video, the little gadget that I use to sharpen the blade as a diamond stick on there and I got just as many questions about how do I clean the blade because I said I didn't clean the one well it was actually this one before I sharpened it so I'm going to show you how I clean it I use lacquer thinner and normally I use uh, you know one of these nitrile gloves to keep this stuff off of my hands as much as possible just take a rag and pull it across here and that cleans the side and also let it soak a little bit before I pull it off and it pulls the, the resin and gunk off the face. Nothing that I found cleans faster or better than this stuff right here. A lot of people said um, oven cleaner, uh, I, I don't know, you don't want to go to that trouble. I don't even want to go to the trouble of taking the blade off the saw. I want to clean it right on the saw. So I got to thinking about it and I came up with what is possibly a better way to do it than using a cloth and a glove. And it involves making these two things right here which are just pieces of 2x2 two two that I drill a one inch hole in. And just to make it look better I rounded the back corners. Then cut pieces of material that go inside to act as a pad. And covered the whole thing with another piece of material that I stapled on. So the idea here is to put these on your finger, index finger and thumb. My thumb doesn't quite fit in the one inch hole though. It's a snug fit. The idea is you would soak the pads on both sides and then you would grab the blade and pull up as you're doing it. I'm going to try it now. Honestly, this is my first time trying it. So we're going to find out if it works together. I'm just going to take the pad and put it on there like that. Make sure it soaks in. Get it all over my table saw while I'm at it. Do the other one. Now you're bound to get a little bit of this on your fingers. So it might be best to wear gloves anyway. But at least you're not in full contact with it. So I've got to put on and I've got the blade risen up as high as it can go. And now I'll just... Take this and hold it on there, give it a good soak, and then it's working great, I gotta say. I'm just gonna take it and wrap it around the tooth like that, maybe give it a wiggle and pull it off. And you can see, immediately took off the worst of the varnish on the sides there. And you keep doing it until it's clean. Wow, that works great. It's actually taking the varnish off the tooth in the front too. And on the top, I can see that. Move to the next one and do the same. You know, if it's really stubborn, you hold it there for a second or so and then pull it. Well, I'll tell you, I've seen some kooky ideas before and this on the face of it seems to be one but I gotta say this really works well so it's a keeper I'm gonna you know if we're giving it a score I would say it's a definitely a 9 out of 10